this, uh, I got this meet it up with a keyboard, so I just hit the keys like that. Now I'm gonna show y'all how to work the arpeggio. Now let me take off that, uh, yeah, take off the synthesizer and just play it regular. synthesizer it goes like this
right, Joe. Now, like I said, these uh, arpeggios on this is pretty cool. And, and, you know, once again, if you change that arpeggio, you can do all kinds of stuff. Like, you know what? I'm going to show y'all something right quick before I go. Um, first of all, you have to go to that. Um, you got to hit shift. Then you got to hit it says style or page. Then it takes you over to like a screen. Like, you know, I can even change it to one eighth. Then you can slow down the arpeggio. All right, you know what I'm saying, y'all? And you know it's something else too, if you hook it up with your keyboard, you can um, you can also play it from another keyboard like what I'm doing now. Y'all hear that telephone? I'm gonna put y'all back in the matrix. All right, time to pick up the phone. You know what I'm saying, but anyway, that's just what you can do with it. So even though this is old school, you know, came out a long time ago. I think it came out around 1996. One of the good things about it, to me, is that it's so much that you can do with it. You know what I'm saying? And I really tend to think that you really could use this into uh, modern day music. It's, it's on you. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all. I'm out, man. I just wanted to show y'all something, um, something about the uh, Rolling MC-303 and the 116th arpeggio, and that's what I was using, all right? I'm out, man. Later.